lot. We're just trying to see the continuity of the draconian fissure fissure bears here. Jay, read the manual! What's going on, everybody? Jay Hayes here. So today I picked up, oh, okay, cat. That, that always happens when you wash your hands and the water gets in the bracelet. I do this and then it flies out like my bracelet just jizzed everywhere. What is up, man? Aug Vape 217. Oh, God, it's so nice to get something other than, oh, another pod. Oh, look, here's another pod, a disposable. Look, another Chinese company trying to make more money from another product. Well, I don't see that being much different in this situation. Well, I, I guess in kind of a sense, that's what they're all doing, right? So very rarely have we seen a dual battery mod that uses a 217. Now I know before you go commenting down below that there are ones that have done it. Wizmec has done it. Vupu has done it. I already know that you're going to find some random shit from like Y Star and respond. Dual 21700. Okay, so automatically the battery is that much bigger than an 18650. We're talking about three more millimeter diameter. And we're talking about five millimeters taller. So when you go to a battery that is that capacity, first off, using even a dual 18650 has worked for all these years. So to, to go into the avenue of approach of a 217, basically making it so now it houses dual the power, it's you're not even going to get that much more power out of it. Now, I know when a Mech Mod 21s will outperform an 18650, but we're talking about a regulated device. But what really interests me in this particular scenario is whether or not this will be smaller than most 18650s. Now, I know right off the jump, you're like, okay, well, the 21 is bigger. How could it be smaller? <laughs> if you looked at mods. So they take an 18650 mod. For instance, let's just use this Snow Wolf Jammy, the best version that they ever made. Look how much space that they have. Well, that's for the chip. Not not really. It's for the fire button that is above, if you could see, it's above where it is. So all this extra space here, you could in theory put two 21s or at least two 2700s in it, right? This is going to be very difficult for me to show you this, but you'll kind of get what I'm doing here. So you can see that there is room, right? You have room to go up and down, but you don't have room for the 510. Going this route kind of makes me nervous. Now, I have no problem with liking something that's a dual 21700. It's just whether or not it's going to fit the criteria. And judging by the size of this box versus just this mod alone, you could see that this mod is going to be small. The X217, a lot of people like by Vupu. Wasn't the biggest fan of it. You'll find that review right there. Again, it wasn't terrible. It just, all well, the way that it looked. Now, I typically like Vupu products. Primarily their pods because that's all that I've seen in the past year. But Vupu does make good products. As much as shit as they've gotten to pass for all the things of the wrongdoings, the things they've done wrong. I, I don't think it's a fair assessment to judge a product based off the quality of the company. Some may argue and say, well, it's a really big deal if the customer service is shit. It wasn't about the customer service. It was just how Vupu and Vanny Vape were working out. What does it have to do with this? You're right. Absolutely nothing. Both of them make a mod that's a dual 21700. This, I believe, actually has, yes, Mike Vape Sabon Tank. I didn't do a review on it just because it was a sub on tank, and the only time I really use them is when they're sitting at home gaming. You'll find that channel up here. Hopefully that works. May not don't know. If it doesn't, then just look down below. You're probably too lazy to look at the description box. I'm not going to waste any more time. Let me open this up, show you everything that's inside of it. And then I guess we will run over the intake as well, just because it's already in the box. But I don't know what to cover in regards to a sub on tank. As much as I use them, what do you cover? The coil? Oh, babe, man, I can't even think of the last mod that I did. I did the pod jammy, the druga. The Foxy was badass. There was something special with that. The 510 or something, or... Okay. Flip it. I get it. You wanted to correct me right there, right? Quick release. 
All right, so what you're looking at is the Aug Vape VX217. Obviously, you know, Vupu did the same thing with the 217, just highlighting 21700, and it just makes sense, kind of abbreviating it. Up here on the top, you have your color configuration. This is black and then matte black, but they spelled matte wrong. There's actually supposed to be an E at the end of that. And then this product contains nicotine, which is a highlight. Again, they don't need this warning. It's not a necessity anymore. You could just go ahead and stop putting that on a box. All sides of it, nothing really special at all. And then on the back side of the box, everything that's included. Go ahead and give that a freeze frame for you. Scratch and sniff on the side is going to be chocolate wood flavor and scented. And then down here on the bottom, where it is in fact manufactured. Clapton mesh coil. That should be fun. I don't know how the hell you make a Clapton mesh coil. That's... Did you take a strip of metal and then just wrap wire around it? Let's see if there's an extra one, because I'm really interested as to how you would do that. Because a Clapton is essentially a wire with more wire wrapped around it, and then apparently, as much as I do that, it does nothing. So just go ahead and use a razor blade. Razor blades. Hmm. Huh. Well, the mod is not small, I could tell you that much. So inside the package, you're going to get this lovely little piece of styrofoam in case if you need something to uh, do your little finger pressure, you know, little bags that you squeeze and the eyes pop out. Squeeze this. It's a good workout for your middle finger. Get a little warranty card. We know how good that means. Absolutely nothing. It's just a piece of paper that they wasted the print some black ink on. And then, of course, a user manual of such. They legitimately put that in a Ziploc baggie. And then there's your intake. You guys see it? Saw me open this up. That, that's what it comes in. I've never seen that before in my life. sub ohm tank, we'll go over that shortly. So you can get some extra O-rings and then a bubble glass instead of the straight barrel. You get a little peripheral pouch down. Okay, so inside the peripheral pouch, you're going to get a USB and then a spare coil way down yonder on a Chattahoochee, not even packaged up. Here's your USB, and it's USB-C for all you geeks out there all right let's take a look at this what was that written with a crayon canthol and nichrome never ever ever should mix these metals nope first off mixing these metals one will degrade quicker than the other so it is a sub ohm coil so it's not that big of a deal and maybe i should make a whole video explaining because that's going to take about five minutes why you shouldn't mix metals let's just see how people are educated and let them respond down below i really don't want to do this but they're they're saying clapton mesh now just looking at this it doesn't it's not mesh per se okay we're going to take it apart that's where we're at because i i got to see this so that is what they're considering mesh, multiple strips of this. So is this Clapton? Okay, that is. So I didn't really destroy the call. All I did was just take out the first line. But just because you're doing this doesn't make that mesh. All that does is just make that multiple strands of wire. Doing this, in fact, does not make that mesh. Uh, I mean, I guess in theory you could say that that's mesh. It kind of looks like two flags, rainbow flags be more specific is that flat that looks like flat ribbon wire just very thick i wouldn't call it clapton all right again that's got really nothing to do with mike unless mike of course wanted to holy shit that is that's like a munchkin so this is the mod right is it tall mm, i don't know let's say this is the kodama so you can see that it is in fact shallower and not as deep as what this is it's obviously wider Right? Okay, got that. Looks like you fit a big-ass tank on the top of there. It's smaller in height, it's shallower, it's just wider, and that's because of the batteries. What I find peculiar, though, is what the fuck is Asmodus doing is when they take their dual 18650, and this company can make a dual 21700. I don't know what this is, but that reminds me of, like, a beetle shell or, like, one of those root beer candies sucked on. And someone took a stamp and just, like, smacked it. That, it, this is not attractive at all. This and this. These are fucking hideous. Absolutely disgusting. You could have made this so much more attractive, making that stainless steel, or just making that not that. <laughs> what? Sounds like there's candy in there. Oh, that's a cool little adapter. 
And there's your 21700s, positive, negative there. And then on the top, positive, negative. That means that your negative will be facing the top here, positive there. And we know how these go, though. We've seen these a thousand times. Don't know if it's going to hold up because I'm not going to use it long enough to find out. But let's see what a 30 millimeter looks like on there. Absolutely goes right to the edge. Very, very nice, Og Vape. Very good. That's a literally right to the edge. Obviously, that's not down all the way, but you get the idea. 30 millimeter works. And looking at the sub ohm tank that would go on the top of there, let's take a look at this. I know we're a little bit all over the place, but that's fine. Drip tip on the top appears to be an 810 configuration. Looks pretty good on the inside there. Again, it is black, so it'll be hard to pull any kind of imperfections. Ask me. I did that on purpose with the Gen RTA, so you didn't see any imperfections, and I look perfect. Oh, there it is. Put the coil in the basket. There it is. Coil pops out. No idea how they expect you to grab that, aside from just doing what I did. So you have these little rubber O-rings. Nice style of coil. Again, same type of configuration on the inside. You pop that in, but oh, you don't want to do that. Don't do that. You know, that was nice with the Aspire and FL. They had a coil that was pushed like this, and they had little prongs that you'd be able to grab. But this, I guess you could, if you got nails, which I don't, you could, once that goes in, you can kind of... I guess push your finger in there and then pop it up. Not bad. Okay, so your airflow chamber right here through this tubing through the top. So we have a sub ohm tank. You know, it is what it is. I mean, I don't know how much more I could go over with a sub ohm tank, but what we're going to do for the top here, does that spin off? Yes, quarter turn. Very, very nice. Nice little rubber grommet too on the top there. That's disgusting. So that's a little bit dirty. Could have been cleaned up a little bit better, but that could be from sitting for a very, very long time. So we're just going to fill this up real quick. Really like this grommet on the top. Let that sit for about five minutes with the juice inside of there. It's a little bit stiff. I feel like that's because of that rubber grommet. Not many sub ohm tanks have top airflow like that. So let's go over this real quick. This, I'm sorry, this looks really gross. Like it, it just looks extremely cheap. The mod itself, not bad at all. It's just not till you get to these buttons. Wahoo! Who helped them design this where they said that this was okay? There are some fingerprints on there, but I'm going to excuse that because it's probably for me. 21700 vape cells. We're going to do positive first down there. Very, very nice. Positive on the top. A little bit of a wiggle. No problem. Snap it in. Oh, we got a little bit of color. hey -o! And we turn a wheel to adjust. One, two, three. Oh, wow. Okay, so we have variable wattage. Variable voltage, bypass, all self-explanatory, spin button lock, settings, AO. You have to really press that. Auto mode, cutoff time, standby, LCD color setting. Orange, red, sky blue, AO. There we go. Oh, my goodness. You hear all this clicky. It's very crunchy. Temperature unit language, factory defaults. Go back, information. Statistics? Okay. Jay, read the manual! Wow. Wow. 12 volts. Huh. Okay. All right. We'll see about that. I don't see anything about those numbers, so I have no idea what those are in the background. I am so interested if this thing says it could do 12 volts. 12 volts, really. Could I test this? Uh, yes, I can, actually. So there's your numbers. What that is is how long you hold it down. So you'll watch. Watch. Now, at 9 volts, I could show you how quick that ramps up. We are sitting at 12 volts right now. Watch this. I don't even see that getting red. And that's picking up at a 2.0. Six zero. Now it's, yeah, I mean, I'm holding it down for so long, but up oh, there it goes. So as you can see that we are zeroed out, let me move this forward for you. I'm just going to do a simple little test, make sure we're not grounding out here. Probably going to melt this in about 10 seconds. Okay, there you go. It's hard to focus on, let's see, there you go. There's your focus. So when I fire, 12 volts. Cut this down a little bit here. I'm going to bring to see how accurate this is. And we're going to do positive here. And we're just going to hold that up. And then we're going to do negative here. We're just trying to see the continuity. 
the draconian fissure fissure bears here and then there it is in the back go ahead and give that a focus what were we at 10.5 and fire close enough 10.4 congratulations you can say uh, that it is effectively doing what it says it can do i am impressed how many people are going to use 12 volts on a dual 21 700 i have no idea but it does do that that's impressive okay sounds good and there you go that is the aug vape 217 with the i was going to say intake is that what it is yes i have no idea uh it is the uh it's the thing together with my with the intake sub on tank yes there it is intake sub on tank in tank yep all right we're just going back on top all right back on the top with the x217 by aug vape okay i am super impressed with 12 volts absolutely without a doubt the fact that you could do that ooh, ooh, a dna with a lipo can go well, I, I don't even know why we're why we're gonna go into that it's just the fact of the matter is there's not many mods maybe about three that i know can put out that amount of power somebody that's going to use 12 volts or 10 volts or 11 volts is going to be using a single battery that's why the dna goes to 9 volts because they're going to build on a higher resistance 1.5 2 volts not not two volts. I don't know anybody that vapes at two volts. Unless you want like a 0 0.01, you might be using two volts. When you use that kind of power, it's for some of those higher resistance. Hence, at the three ohm resistance cap. But if you look at any other mod, and this is a huge shout out to Aug Vape, any other mod will say we go up to three ohms. But your voltage doesn't support that. You might do three ohms at like 2.5 volts. Like, <laughs> you you or eight volts, whatever, which is not adequate enough. So the idea is... Using that kind of voltage would be ideal for something with higher resistance on a higher end tank. Or, or even a mouth to lung, somebody that runs two, two ohms. It's just vaping. Wow, that's nice. A little bit too much power. Let's do 4.2 volts. Holy shit. Wow, that is a powerful mod. Four volts. Still too much. Let's do 3.8. The mod putting out that power, I can't negate away from the fact that that is nice. It really is. I fucking hate the button. Not just the looks, right? Like those lines. Ew, dude. And then this. Oh, my God. Yo, shut up. Ugh, listen to when I hit it. Just listen. Oh, hold on. Listen. It's not even like a nice clicky. It's just not a fan, man. Not a fan of that at all. If they would have made that smooth, going with the whole contour of the mod like they did here, would have been nice. You you would get a real nice rating. So for the sub ohm tank, I don't, I don't really know how to rate a sub ohm tank. You know how I feel about the coils, right? Clapton mesh. It's not a necessity, right? Mesh is mesh. It doesn't matter what kind of mesh it is. Whether it's cross hatched, whether it's tic tac toe, rectangle circles, uh, trapezoids, it doesn't matter, man. Mesh is mesh. What do I know about it though? I can't even fucking build it. Watch this. It shows you. I'm... Okay. Hate the button. I will tell you this: if there is a device that I'm gonna that's really big, like the Colorado, that has really big coils and where I need a lot of power, typically I would go to the Berserker because it's a lipo. It, it can put out about 14 volts, which is insane. I don't have any mods that can do that. This is a good option for that. Other than that, I, I don't see why you would use 12 volts. So is it a good selling point? Yes, but it looks good on paper. It's not something that looks fantastic otherwise. The sub ohm tank is, you know, it's a sub ohm tank. It looks like the intake. I'd like to see other coils. You know what? Here you go, Aug Vape or Mike Vapes. Since this can put out this power, this is sold as a pair, make a coil. Be the only company in the world, the only company to make a sub-ohm coil. Well, it's not a sub-ohm. It would be like a, a three-ohm. Make a three-ohm. You're not going to be able to do this with mesh, but a three-ohm coil inside of there is a Clapton. Do it. Even go old school. Even old school. Like old Kanger Tech OCC coils. 2.5, 2.8, no one did 3 ohm. The only way that you would get the 3 ohm is you making it. Not you, Mike Vapes, or Aug Vape, but 
you as an individual watching this video is the only way you'd get there. So make that. Now you have a tank that has, and, and make it so it's airy, and then you could adjust the airflow and make it mount to lung. But having a coil like that and putting out the power, I think that will show a lot of people there's no difference of vaping your 0.3 build with 8 volts versus a 2.1 build at, well, you're not going to vape. I don't know if I said 8 volts or 4 volts. If you're vaping a 0.3 at 8 volts, that cotton is going to turn into like burnt matches. <laughs> don't do that. But if you were and you, you, it would just be, people would be like, wow, okay, so it's not any different. So the way that I build, I just use more voltage than wattage than people that build lower that use more wattage than voltage. It's just really how it's going to put the strain on the battery. That, that's typically what it is. I'm going to require more amps than you are. The mod isn't bad as far as the way that it feels, the size. Everything about this checks off except for the fucking up and down button, which is a wheel, which I hate, and the fire button, which are two things you're going to use all the damn time. So if I had to rate the mod, this is it's so hard because I love the technical aspects of it, but I hate the aesthetics. Usually, I rate it the other way around. I, I hate the technical, but it's gorgeous. This is fucking hideous, but it puts out the power. If I had to rate this mod on a 0 to 10, because I would never use it, because the way that it looks, plus I use DNAs, but I, I, the only time I'm going to use it when I have a bigger build I have to give it like a four to a five because I think it's it's absolutely atrocious. It gives me agita looking at it. Technicality, an 8.5 to a nine. But it doesn't average out. Don't take an average between those two because I got to look at that all the damn time. Sub-ohm tank, I, I never rate them, so I'm not going to start now. It's a sub-ohm tank. I don't like the idea of the name of the coil, clapped and mesh, but I think that people just think of mesh, they think of a bunch of wire together. If that's the case, then every single coil that you make would be mesh because they're all wrapped together. And then if you space it out, does that make it mesh? No, it just makes out a spaced out coil. But at the same time, you can say, well, that's not a coil. It goes in one circle and it doesn't connect. Okay. I mean, if you really want to get technical, sure, it's a mesh coil. Just not any mesh that I know. Usually mesh attaches both vertically and horizontally. So across the board for this whole kit, I, I don't know, 5.56, but for the mod by itself, four. I can't get past how ugly this is. And I've kept it for you. Have you?